everybody in today's lecture we are going to see the most important thing in electrical machines which is a rotating magnetic field that is we know in all the AC machines like synchronous machine, induction machine, maybe three phase or single phase we come across rotating magnetic field theory that is magnetic field in the machine is rotating as the machine is in circular form means if the machine is in linear form magnetic field is moving in the space which is very critical thing in analyzing any electrical machines there are different ways to analyze this like mathematical way by using vectors I will show you now animation through animation we are going to see how a magnetic field moves in space so if you could spend just 30 minutes time in watching other videos related to this topic that is space harmonics versus time harmonics what is space axis and time axis the video links are given in the description below if you could spend 30 minutes in watching those videos most of your engineering doubts will be clear related to electrical machines so let's get started again I strongly recommend you to check other videos on space axis and time axis and space harmonics and time axis, time harmonics so that this you will understand very clearly as we have seen in other videos if I have one coil its corresponding MMF is like this in space and of course there are some harmonics space harmonics we are not talking about harmonic components we are talking about only fundamental throughout the analysis only we talk about fundamental components so for one phase I have MMF this is MMF y axis is MMF x axis is space means 0 degrees in space 90 degrees in space 180 degrees in space 270 degrees in space 360 degrees in space if I felt that one coil with a sinusoidal current in this portion we will see the current fed to the coils respective coils if you feed this sinusoidal current at each and every instant if you keep plotting the coil MMF you will get a standing pulsating wave the details of this has been clearly described in the other videos which you can check so we will get a standing pulsating wave with only one coil we have only one coil and that fundamental component which you are seeing here what if we have two coils which are 90 degrees displaced so I have two coils which are 90 degrees displaced in space and both these coils are fed from the same sinusoidal supply they are fed from the same current then both will pulsate in the same fashion because they are fed with the same current which you can see here at a different instance of time magnitude has been changing from positive to negative in this fashion what if I add these two MMFs in space this is one phase MMF this is another phase MMF I don't know whether you could distinguish the color from here this is of red color this is of yellow color again source file for this this flash animation has been given in the description you can check with that also 
this animation has been done based on different simulations and those simulation results are kept into this flash animation. Now if we add these two MMFs in space, then what is the resultant MMF? At each and every instant, we keep adding these two MMFs at all the instants. Then if you see, this is a resultant MMF. You can check at all instants. If you add this red line and this yellow line, you will be getting the same color. Okay. At all instants, I added these two field MMFs so that I get this resultant MMF which is also pulsating in nature. Clear? What if we supply two different currents to these two coils? So far we have been feeding for these two coils same current. If we feed two phase current to these two coils, then what will happen? Then they, these two coils pulsate not in a uniform fashion, they pulsate according to their respective currents. They are the currents. This current is fed to first coil, this current is fed to the second coil. So at any instant you can check, at this instant of current, at this current, we have magnitudes like this. So as current value is changing, these magnitudes will be changing. In this case, let's add these two elements and see the beauty. This is the most wonderful thing in rotating magnetic field concept. If I add these two pulsating waveforms, I am now getting a MMF, a resultant one which is moving in space. So that is what rotating magnetic field. I can add at all instants like before these two red and yellow then you will get this green color. If we fed these two coils with the same current then you got a resultant MMF which is also pulsating it is not moving in space but if you fed two phase current to these two different coils you get the resultant MMF which is moving in space that is what rotating magnetic field which means with a single phase supply we get a pulsating MMF with a two phase supply you get a rotating magnetic field let's check with three phase supply what if we give three phase coils we have now three coils R phase coil in space Y phase coil in space B phase coil in space all these three coils are fed from the same current then all three will pulsate in the same fashion The resultant MMF in this case is always zero. You can add at any one instant you take and add all these three 
R phase is zero, Y phase is positive, B phase is negative, results to zero. At this instant, Y phase is positive, R and Y phase, R and B phase are negative, which results to zero. So at all these instants, the resultant MMF is zero. So if a three phase coil is fed with same currents, then you will get no resultant MMF. What if we supply these three phase with a three phase supply? Then these three are pulsating according to the supply, nature of supply. In this case, let's add these three MMFs and see the resultant MMF nature. See again, resultant MMF is moving in space, which means if the space is round, so resultant MMF is rotating in space with a constant magnitude. If you see, it is rotating but with a constant magnitude. Magnitude of the resultant wave is not changing. Though individual MMFs magnitude is changing, but the resultant MMF is having the same constant magnitude. So this is the concept of rotating magnetic field wave, which helps us in understanding all AC machines for that matters. Now let's experiment by giving this is R Y B phase sequence current. What if I give R B by phase sequence? Phase sequence if I change, then let's see. So instead of giving R Y B, now we are giving R B Y. So hardly we can feel there is any change in these pulsations, but there is a huge change in these pulsations pattern because I change the supply. Let's check the resultant MMF in this case. See here, at any instant you may stop and add all these three MMFs, you will get this green one which is resultant MMF. Now it is moving with a constant magnitude and a constant speed it is moving but in opposite direction. So to change the direction of rotating magnetic field, one of the techniques is to change the phase sequence. If you give RB by phase sequence, it is moving in this direction. If you give R Y B phase sequence, it will move in this direction. Again, source file has been given in the description below. You can download this animation completely and see step by step results. Thanks for watching the video. If you want us to discuss any topic in electrical engineering, please write to us through comment section below. And please subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.